record. Now, one of the nastiest local races this year is by far in the 40th State Senate District. And that's the seat being vacated by Vinnie Libel because he's running for Putnam County Executive tonight. Republican Assemblyman Greg Ball seeking his second, is serving his second term in Albany right now. He wants to move to the State Senate and he's taking on Democrat Mike Kaplowitz going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Westchester County legislator in a race that's featured attack ads, negative mailers, even campaign workers dressed up as animals, believe it or not. News 12's John Goff is covering the ball camp for us tonight. He's at the Centrista Restaurant in Brewster. John. Well, Brian, Greg Ball and his supporters will be gathering here a little bit later. They're hoping that the voters here in the 40th State Senate District will make him the successor to Vinnie Libel. But the same could be said for Mike Kaplowitz and his supporters. Good morning, everybody. Westchester County Legislator Mike Kaplowitz voted at the Somers Middle School. He was joined there by his wife, Jane. Kaplowitz, a Democrat, has served six terms representing northern Westchester and White Plains. It's his second try for the state Senate, having lost to Vincent Libel in 2006. This time, he's optimistic he will come out on top. The campaign, uh, uh, while long, was, I believe, successful. We got our message out, and uh, democracy, already, democracy always wins out. How do I spell my name? Oh, let me see. L L A B. Oh, Kaplowitz is facing outspoken state assemblyman Greg Ball, a Republican. The campaign between the two men has been marked by heated exchanges and accusations. After casting his vote in Patterson, Ball said he too feels good about the outcome. Today's the day the taxpayers, Democrats, and Republicans, and everybody in between who are tired of the excessive taxation, the excessive government spending, have the opportunity to take their government back. Poll workers here in the 40th district say the turnout so far has been heavy. And both men are hoping that means good news when the votes are counted. In my case, uh, in, in this race case, I think the fact that we got our message out, that people are coming out, uh, I think uh, is, is a good sign. The uh, extraordinary turnout that we're seeing here in the 40th Senate District it is certain to help us. We have a strong grassroots campaign. By some accounts, this will be a close race, and so we may not expect a quick decision once the polls close.